the doors, the doors, wisdom, be attentive. With these words, the deacon invites us to the symbol of faith or the creed. As the parenthesis indicate, the words, the doors, the doors are optional. I prefer to include them, but I understand those pastors whose opinion differs from mine. It is commonly understood that the doors of this reference are the doors of the church to help us to know that what happens hereafter cannot be understood without faith. If someone does not have the faith, perhaps he should leave. Doors have two purposes, to protect against certain elements and to welcome others. Do we say the doors twice to correspond to these two purposes? Perhaps. To what would we prefer to close the door? What are those elements that will interfere with our Eucharistic worship? Do we need to close the door to unbelievers as if they were unworthy? But aren't we all unworthy? I prefer to consider the closing of the doors here before the symbol of faith as a blocking out of our daily concerns, good or bad. With the purity of mind, heart, and spirit, we will be able to cooperate with God in this Eucharist, and in turn we'll be able to return to daily life renewed. And opening the doors, to whom, to what? Surely the doors of the church are open to all of goodwill. Not all will be able to be a member because of various developments in their past, but all are welcome. What about each of us? What doors do we need to open? We need to be open to the working of the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit will unite us together with God to effect the Holy Communion. We must open the door further to the call to do what God expects of us as individuals and as church. We must open the doors to willingness to continue in our daily life the worship and prayer, the proclamation of the truth, the service to each other, and the community we experience here. Close doors, open doors.